12 lecture series on real analysis. In this lecture, we are going to deal some theorems on real lines and real spaces. Let us get into the theorem. Uh, here it is given that uh, I n is a sequence of intervals. Here by intervals we mean the closed intervals in R such that I n contains I n plus 1 which means if you are taking this to be your I 1 then your I 2 is of this sort. This is your I 3. This is some your I 4. Okay. Here we are taking intervals sequence of intervals of this form with uh, this assumption we will have to prove this intersection of all those intervals is non-empty this is what we are going to prove in this theorem uh, let us get into the proof okay let me take my i n to be some interval a n b n right here uh, this is true for, uh, this is for uh, n runs from uh, 1, 2, 3 etc and it goes this way right and let me take E B B set of all A N. So in those intervals I am taking only the left ends to be the left end points to be in my set E right ok here. Uh, I have uh, shown this right. So with this, this is your A, A1, B1. This will be your A2, B2, A3, B3 and it goes this way. Right. Here what you can observe is that your A1 is smaller than or equal to A2, is smaller than or equal to A3 and it goes this way and you have this thing. Right. Okay, therefore your set E is bounded above bounded above by B1. Okay, I don't know uh, I don't know what is the exact supremum here, but uh, this is bounded above by B1. This is what I, I am taking, right? And let me take uh, x to be the supremum of E. I have this. I am taking the supremum of the set E to be x. Therefore, what I will have? I will have uh, all my A n is less than or equals x. This is true for all n. Yeah. Right. From here, you have one result that is if whatever may be the integers m and n a n is smaller than or equals a m plus n ok these two are any integers here any integers means I am taking only the positive integers right so this is going to be something of this sort Right. So, with this we are going to make some conclusion. Uh, here you can observe that this is given to be the supremum. Uh, this x is given to be the supremum of the set E. Okay. It is bounded above by B1. So, your B1 will be bigger than or equals x. Right. So, similarly you can say your B2 is also bigger than or equals x. This x may be the minimum of all such values. Okay, I don't know what exactly the minimum is. So what I can uh, have here is x is smaller than or equals b n for all n. This is going to be my case, right? So combining this and this, what I can have? I can have a n less than or equals x less than or equals b n for all n. This means what I am having is that x is a member of i n for all n. If x is a member in the interval for all n, then I can say this intersection is going to consist at least 
uh, r i cannot say it is exactly x i may say uh, x is a member of this intersection right this proves what the intersection is non empty right so with this idea we are going to extend this to rk that is i am going to take a sequence of uh, cases of rk such that the intersect uh, this is the case and we will have to prove that intersection is non empty okay so in order to prove this result we will make use of the result that we have seen just before okay let us get into the proof uh, here i n denote the uh, okay this i n be the collection of points x1 x2 till x k where x i s are taken in r and let me denote this to be some x okay these kind of points we have and this is going to satisfy what such that each entry is going to satisfy something bg bg and uh, not only this this is based on this n right because this is a sequence of intervals here i am taking the points for this in that is why i am going to give the notation a n j b n j okay so this is true for this case and n runs from 1 to 3 etc okay this is the case that we have with this we will have to do something okay let me take i n j to be my interval a n j comma b n j okay so here what happens the collection is a sequence of intervals it is a sequence of intervals in r satisfying all those things therefore what you can identify some point let me write that point to be x star okay in the in in the intersection of this thing okay so for this case i have something like this so let me uh, put my x star to be x1 star x2 star and it goes till xk star okay uh, if I, okay this is going to be present in what i n for all n if this is so my x star is going to be in the intersection of i n here what we have done we have just made use of the idea that we have seen in the previous result that is we have proved the intersection is if uh, sequence of intervals is satisfying this condition then the intersection is non empty with that idea if the intersection is non empty there exists at least one point in the intersection i am identifying such type of point in each dimension suppose uh, k value is 3 i will have three dimension right so here in this axis i am identifying some point in this axis i am identifying some point in this axis also i am identifying some point put together i will have a point okay in a space that point is going to be in the intersection of the k cells that we have collected as the sequence of k cells that we have collected it is going to be present in all the k cells that is why it is going to be present in the intersection this completes the proof if you have any queries you can post it in the comment section that will be clarified within 24 hours of time thank you for watching